Hey everyone, this is Mr. Bryce, and this is a quick uh, note as to what we did today. Today is Thursday, September 28th in 2017. So this is a worksheet that we did in class together. It says combine like terms. The important thing to remember when you combine like terms is only combine the things that are the same. So we have two rabbits and three rabbits, which means we have a total of five rabbits. We have $8 minus $3. That means we have a total of $5. Okay. Same thing here. Don't get confused. These are not touching, so it doesn't mean multiply. It just means combine. Uh, two frankfurters, or sorry, three frankfurters and two frankfurters is five frankfurters. And then negative four dollars plus one dollar is negative three dollars. Now you multiply. Six times two is 12. Six times negative three is negative 18K. And then you have the 12 plus the one. So we have 13 minus 18K. Now we have to multiply both of them out and combine them. And it simplifies to be that. Again, this is just a reminder of what we did in class today. Factor, remember factor means find something in common that multiplies. Well, multiplies to be 10 and into 15. That's a five. So we write a five on the outside. They both have X's. So we write an X on the outside. Now the lowest exponent is three. So we put a cubed. Now we ask ourselves, 5x cubed, or 5 times what is 10? 2x mm, cubed times what is x cubed? Well, a 1, but 2 times 1 is just 2. Bring down the operation plus. 5 times what is 15? 3. x cubed times what is x to the fifth? Remember, you add the exponents. So 3 plus what is 5? x squared. Write out each as an extended product. Think about extending your arms. It's going to be long. So you write 2, 2, 2, 2. But remember the multiplication symbols between them. OK? Same thing here. You write down the m three times and then the y five times. Now these two are important. You write down 2x. 2x and 2x, but the 2 is not inside parentheses here. The 2 does not have an exponent, so you just write the 2 down once, and then you write down the x, x, and x. I know there's some more questions, but we're just going to keep this short. Simplest exponent form, you can write it out a, 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 or it's just 11 a's, a to the 11th, since we're multiplying it. What if you have multiple letters? You just combine like terms. Remember, if there's a number inside the parentheses, you have to multiply negative 3 times negative 3, which is positive 9. We also talked about distributing. Remember, they're touching. It doesn't say add. It says multiply. So we set up the box to multiply. 2x times 3x is 6x squared. 3 times 3x is 9x. 3 times 4 is negative 12. And 2x times negative 4 is negative 8x. You write them all out, and then you combine them just like we combined like terms on the previous page. This says write it down twice. That says write it down twice. So we write them down twice. We're multiplying. It says multiply because exponent means multiply. Let's see what's on the next page. Write a product of two binomials. OK, uh, there were two ways to do this. Oh, wow. Hold on a second. OK, I read the directions wrong in class. It says write it as a product multiplication problem of two binomials. So this has to be written like that. So tomorrow, uh, no matter which way you do it, I'm going to give you full credit. You notice that you have a common factor. We have a common factor of x plus 2. Factor means multiply. We have a common factor. And what are we left with? We're left with the x and the plus 3. So we write down x plus 3. That's it. It's a product. It's a multiplication problem because the parentheses are touching. Two things, one binomial, two binomials. I apologize about that. Uh, solve the following equations. OK, you have to distribute first. Did I distribute first? Yes. Negative 2 times x is negative 2 x. And then it's positive 8. And then I solved by subtracting first. And we subtract it first.
remember that it's not on the fraction bar, so we have to subtract two first. The two is on the fraction bar, so we have to multiply by four first. If you have any questions, make sure you ask them quick before class begins. I'll catch you later.